गुड मॉर्निंग सिस्टर लाइफ इज टेन परसेंट वट हैपन्स टू अस एंड नाइंटी परसेंट हाउ वी रिएक्ट टू इट वॉट वी थिंक इट मीन्स वॉट वी बिलीव rewiring our pro- brain and thought process can positively transform our life a very good morning to reverend sister manjusha our principal sisters teachers and one and all present here today class 11 is here to present an assembly on the topic mindset matters covid 19 has brought the world to its knees covid doesn't only seem to be the burning topic but the only topic of discussion the worst part is that a discussion on it doesn't relax your mind rather it further enhances the state of panic and negativity when developing a crisis strategy we often leave out the role of our human psychology as part of the solution while financial social and economic strategies are an essential part of dealing with the impacts of covid-19 it is equally necessary to make sure we have the best mindset to overcome the inevitable challenges most of us learn much later in life that life is never certain nor can you plan it to the last detail it likes throwing you surprises and not always pleasant ones our mindset is largely influenced by the thoughts we think and the actions we perform art of any kind helps with the uplifting of moods and spirits and when the art music and dance combine spirits soar higher so here we present a prayer dance to celebrate art and its influence on one's mindset in decision theory and journal system theory a mindset is a set of assumptions methods notions held by one or more people or groups of people a mindset can also be seen as arising out of a person's world view or philosophy of life a mind of a person indulges itself in thinking two different ways thinking in a positive way and negative way negative thinking refers to a pattern of thinking negatively about yourselves and your surroundings it is something we all engage in from time to time constant negativity can seriously affect the way we think about ourselves and the world it can also destroy our mental health leaving us depressed and anxious having a positive mindset means making positive thinking a habit continuously searching for the silver lining and making the best out of any situation we find ourselves in how important is the power of positive thinking it can make a break an individual our thoughts affects our actions our actions in turn translate into whether or not we succeed in our life as well as influence the quality of our personal relationship and how we view the world at large the power of positive thinking can't be understated now we display a presentation before you Mindset matters. Mindset is your beliefs about your potential, skills, 
strength intelligence and choices through mindfulness you can change your mindset a mindset is said to be positive when it dwells on optimism hope courage acceptance and empathy while a negative mindset is the one that dwells on pessimistic ways of thinking a survey of 130 countries by the who concluded that 93% of the countries faced severe disruptions in mental and neurological health while 30% lost access to regular medications for such ailments during the covid-19 pandemic researches regarding mental health issues during covid in india clearly stated that children frontline workers teachers and older people were among the vulnerable in this context mental health is vital when it comes to responding to adverse situations such as those brought about by the covid-19 pandemic physical and mental health of a person bear a very close connection to one another our brain and our body cooperate to make us what we are and if either of the two is not healthy the other is affected naturally our thoughts ultimately structure our entire mindset therefore it is important for us to watch our thoughts we can either sit and worry about the problems or focus on growth and development of our mindset there are many different ways to cope with the uncertainty we are stuck in regular exercise meditation indulgence in hobbies talking to friends and family are a few of them some ways to stay positive in negative situations include self care acceptance and change of perspective if you can stay positive in a negative situation you win a negative mindset is not in negative thinking some things are indeed negative the problem with negative people is that they habitually perceive almost all the events negatively remember you get what you expect focus on what you need negative attitudes and feelings of helplessness and hopelessness can create chronic stress which upsets the body's hormonal balance and depletes the chemicals required for happiness in our brain and it also damages our immune system Chronic stress can actually decrease our lifespan. Train your mind to see the good in everything. Positivity is a choice. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Importance of a positive mindset. Mental health benefits. A positive mindset helps us to cope up with day-to-day -day stress and work more efficiently in stressful situations. It is very helpful in curing anxiety, and reducing the symptoms of depression physical health benefits a positive mindset is helpful in strengthening our immunity and increasing the overall well-being of the body studies have shown an optimistic attitude reduces the risk of cardiovascular diseases and increases lifespan development as a social being optimism evolves us as a social being by building a better communication and relationship with others Mastering your own emotions unlocks the ability to positively influence your current and future actions to live a more productive and healthier lifestyle. We can't control every negative event. However, we can control how we react. So here are some points which will help us to build a positive mindset. Changing negative thoughts. Cognitive behavioral therapy talks to your beliefs that we have the ability to change our behavior by changing our thoughts. Thoughts are the catalysts that lead to behavior. The first step in controlling your thoughts is awareness. Keep a thought journal. 
If you have trouble identifying your negative thoughts, consider keeping a thought journal. In this journal, we write down the way that you perceive different things, yourself, your work or school, your parents, politics and the environment and so on. Quiet your inner critic by focusing on the positive. When you hear the voice in your head say something negative, take a pause and substitute the negative with something positive. Keep a gratitude journal. Record instances that occur in your life that you are grateful for. Express them in a journal, letter or other kind of writing. Write down some of the things that you are thankful for. Write in this journal a couple of times every week. Research shows that a gratitude journal is much more effective when the person writes about a handful of instances in depth rather than a laundry list. Spend a few minutes relieving and savoring these moments that you write about. Practice positive imagery. Imagine yourself in successful scenarios with as much detail as possible. Keep the negative thoughts like, I can't do this at bay. Instead, focus on how you can do something. I can finish this project. I will ask for a little help and it will get done. When you strive to be confident in your activities and outlook, you will increase your potential for actually achieving your goals. One of the reasons why life sucks is because it's filled with problems. Every day we wake up and we are bombarded with one problem after another. In fact, the reason because you are sad, depressed, angry, anxious, you name it, it's because of these problems. We drink, smoke, eat every garbage that looks delicious and then complain that our health is deteriorating. If you're overweighted, isn't it the time to make some changes in your diet or maybe you should start exercising? If you find yourself constantly in a conflict with others, isn't it the time to work on your social skills? If you're constantly stressed about every little thing, isn't it the time to learn how to manage your stress? It's easy to point fingers and blame everyone around, the government, the food, the economy, whatever, but that's not going to change anything. The purpose of this video is to tell you that, bro, focus on the real problems. Then you will stop seeing the doctor, you will have great relationships, and you will not always be in debt. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 11. May I now request everyone to close our eyes as we offer our prayer to God. Dear Lord, 
as we proceed towards the end of this prayer service, we request you to keep us all safe and healthy in these diverse situations. Bless us with strength and kindness. Allow us to feel your presence in all the thoughts we think and actions we perform. Ease the suffering of the sick and lonely and let the light of your love guide us through these tough times. Amen. Now I request Sister Manjusha, principal, to please address the gathering. Good morning, respected teachers and my dear students. Good morning, sister. Good morning, sister. Good morning, sister. First of all, let me congratulate you for this beautiful and meaningful assembly. Thank you, dear children, for taking us back to reflect for a while about our mindset. Your mindset is your collection of thoughts and beliefs that shape your thoughts and habits. And your thoughts and habits affect how you think, what you do, and what you do not do. I just want to share with you a short screen so I will share the screen. Do you see? This is how we think about as you were telling, which step have you reached today? I won't do it. It's up to your mind. I can't do it. It's also up to you. I want to do it. I have the firm determination. And I have decided and I am going to do it. How do I do it? It's up to your mindset. If you have a positive mindset, you will make it happen. I'll try to do it. This is in between people. Neither positive nor negative. I may, I can, I will make little effort. Again, we come to the next step. I can do it. A person with full positive mindset have got positive thoughts that is coming to her or him that will make you to do things happen. Again, we have, I will do it. A person who has got the strong determination to do it, no matter how the situations are, no matter how the pandemic has affected each one of us, but you have proved today that you can do it, even on online screen. You are smart. You are excellent. This is what Ramni stands for. I salute you, dear students, for the vibrant, energetic, enthusiastic wisdom with which you come out creatively to make each assembly a meaningful and memorable one. And finally, yes, I did it. You did it. And it's only the guidance with which you followed the instructions of your teacher. I also like to congratulate Sister Deepthi on this day for helping the children to climb this ladder. And yes, you did it. Thank you, dear students, for making this day a special one. And as I was attending the assembly, each assembly has got a difference. That shows your mindset, able to think creatively, think positively, and make the best use of your time, talent, energy for the betterment of your development. And also you are giving us an opportunity to reflect about ourselves 
that how we need to proceed in life finally i want to tell you my dear students whatever you hold in your mind will tend to occur in your life if you continue to believe as you have always believed you will continue to act as you have always acted if you continue to act as you have always acted you will continue to get what you have always got if you want different results in your life or your work all you have to do is to change your mind so all the best my dear students as you appear for the half yearly examination keep your mind positive do not allow your mind to wander to take another one more gadget let me copy the answers so that i may get good percentage no keep your mind set clear keep your mind clean so that you will not be tempted to do anything wrong and again it's a reminder to you my dear students as i used to tell you what i need is 95% for your character marks are only for the report card it remains and how often an institution you can ask the teachers they have applied for the job and they got the job ask them how many times sister manjusha takes out their file and look at their mark and admire it it's not the mark that matters it's the behavior reputation it is that matters therefore my dear students do your best and whatever you know write it the answers which you do not know do not waste time in searching for the things yes and i am sure the ramni teachers have worked very hard keeping to the timings keeping to the time table and many of you might have been in your own mindset in your own way but most of you have benefited from the classes yes or no those who want yes, to achieve something in life they have kept themselves busy attending the online class so my dear students every event every assembly every thought that comes to your mind keeps you alive and active and may god bless each one of you as you appear for the half yearly examination once again thank you sister deepthi and my dear students of class 11a for preparing this beautiful assembly god bless you thank you sister thank you sister thank you dear sister for sharing such meaningful and positive thoughts with us your appreciation gives us confidence to do way better things in life and improve day by day now i request our class teacher sister deepthi to please address the gathering Oh, first of all, a very big thank you to each one of you, very especially to Sir Manjusha, the principal of the school, our dear teachers, for being with us today, for encouraging us, and all of us have learned together. So thank you very much. And my dear students, you require very special thank you and a very good applause. I really appreciate hard work. Yes, sister. because you yourself have initiated and you yourself have done it i would like to call out a few names who are anshika bhandari and anshika sethi khushi janvi sneha koina vartika and devanshi so these students have really worked to 
so that we could have the assembly today. A very big thank you to all of you, dear students. And as you have said today, both positive and negative emotions, they affect our brain, our brain chemistry and our actions, both are affected by our thoughts. So in order to reach any goal, we need to have positive thought. To create positive thought, the first thing is to eliminate negative thoughts. Remove the negative thoughts from our mind so that our mind is filled with positive things. One way to eliminate this negative thought is keep a gratitude journal. When you already had that point, keep a gratitude journal. Practice gratitude. When we practice gratitude, automatically we tend to be happy in life. How can we practice this gratitude? If we look around, we can notice all the beautiful things around us. So notice all the good things around us, maybe the nature, the family, and these days, even for the good network that you have, all the positive things that happen in our life, we make a notice of it. Or we look for positive things. We look around for positive things, and also sometimes jot down the positive things that we see and be grateful for it. That keeps us happy. That is one way to eliminate the, uh, the negative thoughts. The second thing is be mindful. I hope you know what is being mindful. When we do something, we give our entire self the best possible to attain the best from it. So being mindful in what we do makes us to be grateful and that gratefulness creates in us happiness. And in turn, we tend to be positive. So we let us give full attention to what we do, especially as students who are studying. Sister has already said, it is not 100 out of 100 that matters, but your character. And I also firmly believe what comes first is the character. And if you have a good character, study and other things automatically follow. So be mindful in all that we do. Pay attention to little things in life. Just notice our thoughts, our words, our actions. That is called being mindful. So that will create in us a feeling of gratitude. There is just four minutes. There is a story that I have heard, a story about two seeds. Probably you have heard that story. The two seeds were underground. So the first seed said she wanted to get off the ground. She wanted to grow. Whatever happens along the way, she wanted to grow. She may encounter problems once in a while, but her heart was happy that she could grow. But there was the other seed that was afraid of being exposed to sun, did not want to come out of the ground. So one day what happened to the next second seed? A hen came uh, to the, uh, near the ground and the second seed was eaten up by the hen. So when we have, when we have positive thought, we also take risk that we want something. So let all of us be guided this, by this positive thought and always ask for God's blessing. God's blessing very much needed in our life. Only then we can live a happy and contented life. So thank you once again to all our dear teachers, students, and very especially to Sister Manjusha. Thank you and God bless everyone. Thank you, dear sister.